Okay, so the next step in our process, we're going to go ahead and install uh, what are called purlins, which are going to be horizontal supports that are going to run parallel to our hip boards. And uh, we're going to mark seven feet uh, from the ground on this side of the tunnel here. But before I do that, I want to explain something about the tunnel. Um, one side or the other may be sitting lower or higher, depending on the way your tunnel is set in, a, in relation to the ground. And so to compensate for that, for the purlins, we want to make sure that we find the site, the, the side that's going to be on the higher side, so that when we measure seven feet over on the, the high side, we won't be cutting ourselves short on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and, and measure off seven feet from the ground here. Uh, our next step is going to be to hang the cross connectors onto the hoops and so what we do is we just slide them on you'll see they're they're folded in a particular way and the way you want them to match up is you want them to both go inward like that not not outward away from one another but inward so we'll slide the bottom one on first we'll slide the top one just above that and you'll see they're both going in all right and now we're going to pick up the purlin and we're going to hang it between the cross connectors and put the bolts through all right so once you have it up there you can hold on to the cross connector like that to hold it in place you get one of the short carriage bolts that comes with the cross connectors Slide it through the two holes. And take one of our nuts here. Once you get one bolt set, you can let go of the bracket. Put your second bolt in. Install your second nut. And at this point, you really only want these to be hand tight. And then next, we'll move the purlin into place. All right, now that we have our cross connectors uh, attached, we're going to slide the purlin up into place, and we're going to try to bring it to approximately where our mark is here on the end hoop. Alright, once we get it up here we want to tighten these nuts up just a little bit. Just to hold the purlin in place. And next, we'll attach the end pipe strap and line up our purlin. Okay, so once we've got our purlin up to approximately the level that we made uh, the mark on the hoop earlier, we're going to go ahead and install one of our pipe strap to secure the purlin to the end hoop. And if you have uh, an issue with the, the, the purlin protruding past the hoop here, we can just go ahead and take a rubber mallet and knock it back so it's sitting just inside the hoop so we don't have any trouble with it abrading the plastic. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach our pipe strap using one of our one inch tech screws. We can go ahead and use all three screws on this end piece. And then we'll simply go along the purlin 
and install the rest of these pipe straps after we bring the purlin up to level with the rest of the structure. Okay, so just like our ridge pole, our purlin here is a little short, so we went ahead and did the same process that we did on the ridge pole and measured and cut a smaller piece to install here at the end. So again, I'm just going to install the open end onto the swage end. And I'm going to run a, a tech screw through that juncture to make sure that it's secure. And now we'll simply take one of our pipe strap and install that on the end hoop and uh, place that at the level of our mark on this end hoop. All right, so Chris has the end pipe strap on. So at this point we need to uh, adjust the purlin to make it nice and straight. And we just do that by eyeballing it. So Chris and I work as a team to, to straighten this out. So Chris, if you could call it out for me and let me work, let me know where I need to adjust it. Okay, the second one here needs to be bumped down. That's good. Come to this one here. Bump it down just a little bit. Okay. And go back to that second one and just bring it down just a bit. And one more strike there. That looks good, Mark. All right, so now we'll go ahead and tighten up our cross connectors, and then we'll install our pipe strap on the rest of the hoops. Okay, so we're about to hang our second purlin here on our tunnel. Now the first purlin, we simply measured seven feet from the hoop to the ground. Uh, but for this second side, we want to do things a little bit differently. So Mark and I are going to demonstrate. Uh, we want to make sure that this board that's going to sit across both purlins is level to the ground. And if we simply marked it at seven feet, we wouldn't necessarily know that it's level. So we're going to lay a level on top here. And Mark's going to eyeball this for me. Bring it up. And I'm going to move it up or down. A little bit more. All right, good level there. Okay. And then I'm going to mark the hoop using the level board here. And that's going to be important for when we hang our door. We want this header board to be level. It's going to be a rolling door, so we don't want our door to roll back and forth on a board that doesn't sit level with the ground. So we'll use this mark and go ahead and install our second purlin. Okay, we're continuing to hang our second purlin here. And we've got our handy dandy cross connectors here. And so we'll just go ahead and pull the pipe up. And install it in our cross connectors. Once we have this purlin hung in the cross connector, we're just going to bump it up to the level of the marks that we just made using the level board. Alright, so it looks about right there, and we'll tighten down the cross connectors and begin installing the pipe straps. Now that we have our uh, other purlin installed, we need to cut the excess that's past the end of the tunnel off. So what we want to do is take our pencil 
mark right on the outside edge of our pipe strap. We're going to pull our tech screw out that's there in the third hole on the pipe strap. Take a rubber mallet and bump the hoop back so that you have enough room to cut through your pipe. All right, once you cut through, take your mallet and bump your hoop back over to where you had it previously. You don't want any sharp edges sticking out past the end of your hoop. Once you've got it back in place, you can then put your third tech screw in. Sometimes you don't get it in on the first try. So try, try again. All right, ready to go.